אתם מתחילים? אה, אוקיי, רגע, זה לא... אנחנו לא מוכנים. מתחילים? Start set, doing a match. השאירו אותנו, את הקומטייטרס פה לבד על, ה, על העמדה ואני יודע שמה שכתוב זה לא נכון, אני, אני רגע מסדר את זה. אקסידו נגד פיקוטרה. וזה ווינרס. למה כתוב ווינרס, לוזרס, סמי פיינלס? מה? זה הקודם היה לוזרס, סמי פיינלס. וזה לוזרס, פיינלס. בדיוק אחרי שהחמאתי ל-TO אז אני צריך לבוא לעשות להם פה את כל העבודה מה העניינים? טוב אני מקווה שזה לא נורא מדי ההתחלה של המשחק סליחה שלא עשינו קומנטרים עכשיו זה אמור להיות בסדר קיצר תקסי יש לנו פה אקסייד אברסל פייק לשרה וכרגע יש פה הובלה של סטוק לראות אקסיידר אה וואו וזה עוד מיד אחרי שראינו את פיקוטרה דופק פה הופעה נגד פנסי מפתיע לראות ככה את אוטו מתקשה נגד אקסידו. וואו, והמשתמש בברזל שלו בדיוק כמו שצריך, נשאר לו רק אחד אבל הוא מנצל אותו כראוי. בואו נחכה לסוף המשחק לפחות שיביא את רום. טוב, פיקוטרה מתקשה כרגע לסגור את הסטוק הזה, אקסידו כבר ב-160 אחוז, שזה לא משהו שקל לראות אותו נגד וולף. וואו, והסבלנות של אקסידו אוף סטייג' ממש עוזרת לו. אוקיי, סוף סוף מצליח לקחת את הסטוק, אבל 105 אחוז, בואו נראה איך הוא יצליח להשוות את זה, פיקוטרה. סליחה, יש פה קצת תקלות טכניות בסטרים. וואו, איזה פקר. וואו, ורק 66 אחוז כרגע אלכסידו בסטוק השני שלו. אנחנו... אה, הוא ניסה להכניס אותו לקר ושהוא חצה לשני? אנטאצ'ט עדיין פיקוטרה, בואו נראה אם הוא יצליח לסגור את הסטוק הזה בלי להפסיד יותר מדי אחוזים. כרגע נראה שהוא עושה עבודה טובה. צריך לברך אותו לפני שהוא הולך לעולם הבא, בוא נראה כמה הוא יצליח לעשות. ואקסידו כרגע בלי ברזל בכלל, זה אומר שאין לו את הכלים הכי חשובים שלו. אבל יש לו חרב יהלום. כן, שזה... כמו שאנחנו רואים, זה... יחסית עוזר. בקר לוקח את הסטוק, אבל לא נורא. 46, נקודה 2. מאיך שנראה המצב... בואו, למה הוא עשה פספו? אה, זה הציל אותו. וואו, זה היה הסוף הכי מאכזב שהיה יכול להיות במשחק הזה. 1-0 אקסידו. אבל נראה לי שהולכים להחליף אותנו פה בקומנטרי. Hello. Alright, losers finals! And hello to all of you beautiful people. This is Fancy right here with Super Jew. We're starting up game two. Losers finals, Nam 11. Picotera 
versus Exido. Extra crafted. Exido already up in game one. Yeah. Now, Exido already beat Pico Terra in Grand, and we're already seeing some of the most. Oh! Okay, uh, that, that's, that's the Exido right there. That's not a button check. That's just that's disgusting. The Though, do remember that Exido did beat Pico Trio in winners, so might definitely happen again. Please. Pico got knocked out to Exido? Yeah. Pico's, uh, Exido's on a roll today. I could completely see him taking the tournament, if not at least second. Potentially. Though I must admit, he did look like pretty... What's the word? He was looking hopeless against the Dom, uh, but he definitely did do pretty good. Second is really good, and even though the SD doesn't really do much justice, you can easily come back for that, whether for in this sure. game or the next. For sure. Although he hasn't really mined at all. He has no iron, doesn't even get beyond wood tools. Now he's stocked down with no extra resources. This is, a, this is not a very uphill battle, but it is... Oh wow, we reflected it. Oh, that so he wanted to get back to the stage safely, even though he couldn't hit Steve. He was making sure he won't get hit himself, because that's like a really, it's like a really good cheese. Let's call it like that. Yeah, you'll see these from a lot of top players, where they'll just find crafty and unique ways to get out scenarios that most players won't know how. For yeah. example, Steve TNT, Wolf Reflector. I don't see why not. Now, as far as I can see, Pico has a really big lead. Of course, this is nothing Steve can't return, even though it's gonna be hard. Mainly on the mentality part. Yeah, not uh, even a minute 30 in, and then uh, Pico yeah. is not even a stock taken off, and... I think, uh, I think that SD definitely did some damage. Uh, I must admit, I think Exido gonna start think, uh he gotta like start thinking outside the box, cause he's just gonna get that back hurt and uh, lose game one. Pico didn't even look like he needed that SD. It seemed like he would have wiped the floor with him either way. Back, back air take him straight off the side. Uh, the thing is, uh, it's okay. Yeah. Okay. The thing is, like, I think. Like, Pico might have already got the adaptation, and if Exido wants to take his set, he's gonna start thinking outside the box. Cause, just mining and uh, running away, side being or jabbing, uh, sometimes won't really work all the time. Especially against a player like Pico, he has a really good adaptation. You see a lot from Pico where he loses game one, cause he's always in a bad mindset of, I'm playing bad, I'm playing bad. And every uh, single time he says it, he places his top three that tournament. So he's clearly doing something right. So you'll see him lose game one, maybe because of a bit of frustration. Wait, 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 but take it back. On. Hold on, we got something here. Not, never mind. Uh, if you guys didn't know, Wolf is one of the only characters in the game to have a frame to air dodge. That's probably the only reason he got out of that. It... Alright, simple combos. Exido with good advantage. Exido making good use of Tactatious along with Steve, a character that doesn't usually go for Tactatious. Alright, good back here. Wow! Two frames. He actually, he actually read the high recovery, like, like the quick recovery, I mean, from Exito, and that got him the stock. Alright, he read his uh, up smash, wanted to bait it out. Wow, nice reflector. Sending the anvil right back at him. Oh, alright. Yep. That's gonna be the That's... stock. Yeah, definitely. He actually almost, almost lived that, which is surprising. <laughs> Either way, he's mentally his insides. You're not living from any of that. Stalling out the recovery, mixes up Pico Terra, gets on stage very easily. Hold on. Now, this is like... When you get hit by Steve's side B that just randomly goes against you, it's one of the most painful things to get hit by in this game. So, I wanna see if, even though it was one side B, never mind, never mind, he did not drop the momentum like I thought he might have. Pico, Pico kicking Zito many times, straining the gun. That's where he's getting most of these stocks off. Every single time, while Wolf can struggle the uh, Wolf can struggle the kill, but he loves that back air. And every time, if you're not watching out for him, you'll die at 80, 90, 100. Wow, nice combos. Look how uh, far that sends. All the way across the stage at 70. Try, uh, try avoiding that when you're on the side of stage corner. All right, quick side B. Back to I don't think that'll kill. Exito on last stock with a hundred, no resources, no iron, hold no hold nothing. On. Good recovery, and the dash attack will do it. Uh, Picotera up 2-1 on Exito with a really, really quick adaptation. 
Pico making quick work. It doesn't even seem... It seems a bit back and forth, honestly. But Pico is not dragging these on to three-minute games. He's doing it in one minute, two minutes, most yeah. snap. I think the idea to take Wolf instead of uh, ZSS is better against Steve. Steve kind of suffers from characters with big hitboxes, especially because they destroy the block. And he's, like, super safe, like, as an extra. They're going straight into it. There's, like, no downtime. They just want to fight. Nah, they just want to fight each other. Would you think that's gonna be Xeno's downfall? You see him just going straight for it, not really on, mining, on, not on, really giving. No, I get that frame to air dodge is so critical in this situation. Honestly, like let's talk Smash for a minute. How can a character with a kit as good as Wolf have a frame to air dodge? Why is that allowed? And while Pico Terra is doing that 82.8% combo and just running straight into the TNT, that's what I love to see here. I mean, someone's gotta be top tier, right? Wolf gets that spot, I guess. Oh yeah, for sure. Avoids the magma block, runs away, expects an anvil, but Exido doesn't really fall with an aerial, just falls with block, resets the neutral. I mean, Exido already got hit by that once, so I doubt it'll happen. How did that hit from behind? What so, the hell? The thing is, let me explain what happened there. Uh, Wolf's dash attack pretty much always crosses up, and because there was a block there, it basically perfectly aligned him in between Steve's legs so that the up smash can scoop. That was only because of the block. Xeno in really great position here, even if it loses a stock, he has Diamond on on deck for the next one. Wait, this could be big. Even if extra credit stops now, that Diamond is going to be really important. I wonder if he's going to save it or just mine with his hands for the rest of the stock. I don't see him using that Diamond in the future, unless he gets... Alright, the Dashadek will do it. Yeah, and now you'll see that Diamond come into play. Doesn't even go for the mine, catches Pico off guard and it works Hold with on, the grab. Handle. This is where Pico Terra needs to be careful. Diamond can end your life with one back air. It is, what, twice as strong as wood? And it can really kill you very easily. Also, watching out for Anvil. Doesn't seem like he needs that diamond when you shove him straight into the lava. Oh, whoa, whoa, that was so close. I don't know if you noticed that. Uh, Pico there, Pico got really lucky there. Oh, oh nice. I think he wanted a footstool, but he did try to footstool him. Uh, Picotera almost got hit by that F-Smash, but he did get hit by the, uh... What did he even get hit by? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I was looking away for a second. Hold I'd... on, hold on, this could be big. Up tilt, fair. Seems like this is a Xeno scan the win. win. Can he mash fast enough? He can't! No! Avoids the anvil! Xeno only needs to do is simply take Back control. Air. Pico is fighting a real uphill battle! Back here will not do it! It does! Two and two, we're going to game five. Picotera versus Xeno. Xeno with an excellent adaptation back to what Picotera showed him last game. For a character like Steve, this set is really going fast. Was it been 10 minutes? It has been, yeah, only like 10, uh, yeah, 10 minutes, and it's just going snap, 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 which is something you don't see. Xeno's just going in, getting the jabs, the forward airs, the back airs, just uh, rushing him down, which is not really something you see. You expect him to build the walls, mine, camp, especially when Wolf has that laser and neutral beat to just go unga bunga. The thing is, like, sets against Steve, especially as an explosive character, they can go two ways. Either they go to last minute every game, or they're cracked. They just go instantly, like one, two minute games every time. And that's, that's what they're looking for, I think. Don't you see Xeno Wait, switch? Wait, we're having a switch. I'm not sure this is the right decision. All right, he didn't do it. Wolf is staying here. Pico Terra having faith in Wolf really thinks he can do it this time around. Starting off on Yoshi's story, a bit of an unorthodox pick. and. The dirt turns in the wall, and I know that doesn't matter, but I always love the aesthetic. This is a combo, but still finding a way to convert off it. 64, 64. off of one interaction. Maybe a bit too much. I'm not so sure about the decision to go to Yoshi's story. Uh, this it's is a pretty small stage. Steve can combo however he wants because he has the blocks, but Wolf kind of just has nowhere to run from that side beat. Wait, Here is well, he. why didn't he mine with the axe? I didn't notice. Yeah, a bit, a bit of a weird thing. Oddity. Almost getting that back air. That would have easily gave him the oh, lead. Oh, yeah, sure. No! No! Oh, oh my, my god. god, you almost! 
<laughs> what are you thinking? I'm sure even though Exido almost got hit by that, this has shook Picotera quite a bit. No, that back air is gonna do it. Yeah, Picotera catching on to these recoveries, stalling with the blocks real fast. Good Tries time. reflecting the TNT, but it doesn't matter since he's out of range. Back air, hold on. This could be big. Down smash. Just Rest. slightly mistimed that would have gone it if you just delayed a second or timed it a bit better. That's the thing, you time your neutral get up punishes wrong, they can punish you back. Oh, no. oh! Oh yeah, I, I know exactly what happened there. So, so Pico not only jumped into it, but I'm pretty sure he thought it's gonna hit the platform. So either, he was like, okay, I'm safe. Either way, severe brain damage, you're giving him a severe whoa, concussion. Whoa, whoa. Oh no! Oh no, that block, Exito missing the tech and falling <laughs> to his own gimmick. Oh no. You need to take that, Exito man! Exito is clinging on his last legs right now. Last stock, Picotera has momentum. Talking about brain damage with Pico, if Zito doesn't tech off the block, he will uh, get Wait. a concussion of his own. Uh, Hold on. Hold although on. it's not possible, although Steve, people like to think, oh, you don't have the diamonds and you're behind, I guess it's impossible. But Steve is still a good character overall. All he needs to do is have good fundies, just get one or two touch of death combos, and then the other opponent is completely back on their level. Now Pico is playing this really smartly. He's not approaching at all. Both both characters doing spaghetti here. I think they both just got scared for a bit. Uh, so Pico is playing this really smartly. Uh, Exido, one of the things he struggles with the most is approaching you in general without side B and stuff like that. And Pico knows this. He's just staying behind, spacing his aerial, not really overcommitting to anything, and that's working out really well. Will he will he build the gold tools or will he save it for minecart? Hold Either on. way, that was almost it. Oh my god. Dash attack! Next move! He might have to build the gold tools. He doesn't really have any choice here. Oh no! Red, red the jump in, but just a bit too late. And now get Cito! No, and no get Cito! Game 5 Losers Finals! Cito, with the curse continuing, is gonna get third place in this tournament. Either way, third place really respectable, especially when he was what six on the PR. Oh, getting definitely. getting constant third places, you think, oh, but it'll all be worth it. Where you're at least one spot higher on the next PR. Third place, but Pico every single time saying, ah, oh, I'm playing bad. Now gets the grand finals, gets another chance, and will he win the second tournament in a row? Either way, second place really respectable. I just have to say this one thing, like, 